like uh, Coach was just saying, you got, you kind of have to expect Ant to get his in a series like this, and the talent that he has as a scorer, but to let three or four or five guys kind of have solid offensive games like this is, is where you guys can lose this series. What, what's it going to take to kind of bottle up things as a whole uh, defensively for them? Uh, yeah, I mean, you definitely don't want Ant to score at 43. Um, so I feel like collectively we could have done a, a better job of making him a little less efficient. He shot the ball at 17 for 29, which is obviously great. Um, <clears throat> but then, yeah, like, you know, Nas Reed started getting hot. Mike Conley hit some big, big threes. Um, and those are great players as well. So it's not like we're going to completely shut them out. But I think we could do a better job on, on some, uh, just our whole team collectively. Coach Malone said you guys didn't have what you needed tonight, and he, and he left it at that. What do you think was missing from, from the collective effort? I mean, I don't know really what was missing. I think we missed some shots. Um, they hit some really big shots when we were trying to pull away when we got up six or even four. They uh, they did a good job, you know, countering that with some big shots and big threes of their own. So, and then at the end, I think um, once you get behind, you just start trying to trying to get it back all in one. And then they kind of pulled away a little bit at the end. But um, <clears throat> overall, it was a very close game. It was a good game, um, and we can we can definitely play better. What are some of the possessions down the stretch that you know have to get better for you guys, or you know just the the play overall down the stretch? What what has to get better for you guys? I mean, nothing got to get better. We know what we're doing down the stretch. We've been a a really good uh, team in crunch time all season, so nothing necessarily has to get better. But they're a great defensive team. They're going to pressure us and make it uncomfortable, and we just got to execute and uh, be physical, be strong in our spots. I think uh, we'll be all right. Mike, bouncing out with Ant specifically, shoots the ball 29 times, but you've got other guys that are also shooting the ball extremely well when they get their shots. Just how difficult is it to go back and forth between single covering and maybe double teaming Ant on some of those possessions to try to get the ball out of his hands? I mean, yeah, any good team has multiple weapons. You know, one part, one thing that makes us successful is when teams double joker, you know, we got capable guys that can make shots. So similar with them, if you double Ant, um, you may be swinging the ball to Cat or Mike Conley or Jay McDaniels, you know, all capable guys. So it's a, definitely a balance and it's something we got to look at on film. Mike, you guys are defending champs. So I don't know if you need motivation, but can a loss like this to open a series be motivating? Uh, I mean, yeah, we, we um, definitely want to bounce back, especially in our home arena. Um, we got to lock in from the jump. Um, kind of, kind of knowing how they're going to come play, I think, is important going forward, just so we can be um, ready from the jump and and kind of know what to expect. Two things: um, after the series last year, a number of your more than one of your teammates said Minnesota was as tough a team as you played in the playoffs last year. So I would think this didn't surprise you at all. And the second part. You haven't really been in this spot. You didn't, weren't in this spot a year ago. What's the mindset? Yeah, I mean, we felt that last year, um, Minnesota, they didn't have Jaden, and they didn't have, I think, Nas. Um, and they still were very competitive. So when you had those two guys in, they're, they're, <clears throat> they're big factors for them. Jaden defensively, but also he can make shots. And then Nas, you know, offensively, he can really uh, help the score load on, off the bench. Um, he had 16 and 23 minutes, so that definitely makes them better. And they already were a good team last year, so we know this team is very good, and we know it's going to be a long series, and it's going to be a good series. We just uh, we got to get the next one. Michael, in the days leading up to Game One, most everybody on the team talked about expecting increased physicality in this series. Was it was that level higher than you anticipated, or, or was it about what you expected in that regard? I mean, they play, they play hard in the regular season as well. We know how they play. Um, they got a lot of young, hungry guys, you know, and they think that they're a championship team over there. So, you know, we know that they're coming in confident, coming in hungry. So we definitely got to do a better job from the jump of, you know, matching and exceeding their energy and physicality. So, uh, you know, we just got to watch the film and be ready for next game.
So I know Jamal did not um, practice this whole week, and he kind of struggled scoring in the first half, but you had a pretty good first half. Um, how do you think your role is going to change, or what are you going to have to do during this series to you know, kind of help everybody out as well? Yeah, I just got to pick my spots and when to be aggressive, um, like I've been doing the whole playoffs. You know, um, On this team, I'm, I don't have the ball in my hands most of the game, so I just got to you know, be aggressive to try to find, find the ball when I can and you know, be ready to make plays and, and just be aggressive because this is a good defensive team. It's going to take a collective scoring effort to uh, to beat these guys. All right, thank you, Mike. Thank you. <clears throat>